Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Kristen with IC Stars Quilting. It is a good day to be sewing and quilting. Today we're going to go over the top 10 trends in modern quilting for 2024. They've got some good stuff to share with you today, some really good information, and some things that you are going to want to know. I also thought I would give you a kind of behind the scenes look. I'm working on this gorgeous quilt pattern. It is available through Cotton and Joy. I'm going to be teaching this pattern on the retreat. I'm looking so forward to this retreat. It's gonna be so much fun. I have so many wonderful things planned for the retreat. If you are interested in going on a quilt retreat with me and being pampered for a weekend and getting to quilt and sew and hang out and be in your jammies and have a really really good time I'm your girl yeah so I'm gonna put a link down in the description box or you can follow this link right here if you are interested in attending an IC stars quilting event I haven't finalized the details for the fall 2024 quilt retreat there's a wait list for it as soon as I finalize those details you will be the first to know about it. I would absolutely love to have you at one of my next quilt retreats. So today while I'm working on the quilt that will be on display during that quilt retreat, I thought I'd take you along and uh, you know show you some of the behind the scenes progress while we're talking about the top 10 trends in 2024 for modern quilting. Grab your favorite quilts, settle in, and let's get started. Get ready to embark on a creative journey as we explore the top quilting trends of 2024. As we delve into each trend, you'll witness the mesmerizing process of transforming fabric into art. That's right, you're going to watch an entire quilt come together during this video. Whether you're a seasoned quilter or you're just starting out, this video is going to inspire and captivate. So stick around for a front row seat to the magic of modern quilting. Our first trend that we're going to look at is sustainability. More quilters are embracing eco-friendly fabrics and sustainable practices. From using organic and ethically sourced fabrics to repurposing old textiles and employing eco-conscious techniques like hand quilting and natural dyeing, quilters are finding creative ways to reduce waste and promote sustainability. Also embodies this deeper human desire to leave a lasting footprint. I wish for this myself a whole lot. So as a quilter, it's always fascinating to me that we meticulously stitch together pieces of our lives. We weave memories together like stories in a world where digital and mass produced goods dominate. Quilting offers a tangible connection to the past and a means of creating something enduring, something that will be cherished and passed down through generations. Our second trend is where we are going to look up to the experts in the color industry. That is Pantone. This one, so Pantone chooses a color for the year and 2024 is this color right here. The name of it is Peach Fuzz. No, seriously, I kid you not. Peach Fuzz is the color of 2024. Peach Fuzz, and I quote, is a velvety gentle peach whose all embracing spirit enriches heart, mind, and body. You may have seen a shift within your fabric shops already, going after a softer and more comfier, lighter shade of life, but because it feels so warm and comforting, it's not harsh, okay? It's exactly what we want in a quilt, right? From the subtle accents to bold statements, this is the color that is going to define our creative journey this year. If you're not on board with the fuzzy peach, check out the color from 2023. 2022. Here's the color from 2021 and even the color from 2020. Are you seeing anything familiar? These predicted trends are going to influence every single facet of the design industry from fabric to paint, colors and matching decor. You're going to start seeing this really, really in the cracks of everything that we see. Trend number three is about minimalism and negative space. It is about minimalism and the clever use of negative space to be more precise, okay? Modern quilters are letting their designs breathe to make powerful statements with less, okay? It can be about the maximalist, right? Where you're just doing so many different things at once, but the minimalism, it's the simplicity, the precision, and the beauty of clean lines journey, okay? If you haven't watched some of my quilt show videos, I mean, you simply have to because the inspiration levels are, are off the charts for one, but 
Yeah, do you see that, that little bubble that just popped up in the corner? If you right click it and then go to open in a new window, finish this video, and then I want you to go watch that one because you're going to be so, so inspired by these quilts. And these are show quality quilts. They're amazing. Trend number four is digital printing. Let's talk about this for a second. We aren't just using the worn out patches and sundresses of yesterday to make quilts. Digital printing in the textile industry is a trend that's revolutionizing our quilting palette, right? With digitally printed fabrics, we're painting with pixels, creating intricate designs that were once unimaginable and we can do it on a much smaller scale. It's a marriage of technology and artistry that is truly awe-inspiring right now. So if you want a custom fabric panel made and you can print it at home with your inkjet printer, you've probably seen this technique when people print photos on their fabrics and then use them within their quilts, right? You can print them at home on your inkjet printer or you can turn to a company like Spoonflower to professionally print the yardage for you. You can be a fabric designer and it doesn't have to cost you absolutely everything. You can do this to experiment, you can do this to play, or you can create one of a kind pieces for your quilts. Trend number five on our list is simple. Geometric shapes are stealing the show in 2024. Whether it's hexagons, triangles, or bold abstract patterns, quilters are infusing their creations with eye-catching geometry. Again, if you haven't seen my other videos, you need to go and see those show videos because you will see exactly all of these trends that I'm talking about and you will see them come up, especially this geometric trend if you look at the quilt con photos which is put on by the modern quilt guild right it's a symphony of shapes lines and angles that's redefining our quilting canvas those crisp perfect lines and seams i am such a fan of those okay we are halfway through the list before i move on to the rest i want you to be thinking about this question right here what is your favorite quilting trend for 2024 I would love to know. So share it with me in the comments below. I will reply back to you. I love these types of quilting discussions. And if you found this video really helpful, consider sharing it with a friend who loves quilting too. I would appreciate that so, so much. All right, trend number six, modern applique is next up on the list. If you're looking to add a modern twist to your quilts, but still keep that handmade charm, consider modern applique techniques. Quilters have been embracing this applique to create intricate designs, to add texture and elevate their quilting projects to a whole new level. We're getting layers, we're getting texture. Modern applique allows experimentation with bold shapes, vibrant colors, and innovative designs. The opportunities are endless here. This trend is a reflective desire within the quilting community to evolve and adapt traditional techniques to suit modern tastes. And this is resulting in a visually stunning and culturally relevant work of textile art. Trend number seven is the return of hand quilting. This may or may not be a surprise to you, okay? In a world that rushes and is always busy, and I can't tell you how many quilters tell me that they don't have the time that they wish they had for quilting. We are witnessing this beautiful resurgence in the return of hand quilting. It's a celebration of craftsmanship, a nod to tradition, and a journey where the pace is slow, but the results are timeless. Absolutely in awe of the hand quilters of the world. Many quilters are being drawn to this slow, meditative process of hand quilting. We are purposely slowing down, intentionally slowing down. This tactile experience not only yields beautifully textured quilts, but also fosters a deeper appreciation for the time, skill, and dedication that is invested in the craft. It reaffirms the enduring value of handmade traditions and the intrinsic beauty of imperfection and an increasingly digital age. Slow and steady is a beautiful way to a keepsake quilt and an absolute work of art. Trend number eight is something that's been going on for a while, but I have watched it become more and more mainstream, and that is improv quilting. So improv quilting is an emphasis on creative spontaneity. So unlike traditional quilting patterns that adhere to strict guidelines, improv quilting encourages quilters to break free from constraints and embrace the unexpected. This is also an amazing use for scraps. Quick pause, no one's looking right now. 
I want you to raise your hand if your fabric stash could rival that of a small fabric store. I knew I would find my proud stash people here. Keep doing what you love doing. So this trend of improv quilting celebrates the beauty of imperfection. Everything is just so opposite of perfectionism, right? And I struggle with that myself. I, if you watch my videos, you kind of know that like I struggle with that. But quilting is the one area of my life where I do not let it seep in. And this imperfection quilting just embraces the absolute opposite of perfectionism. It encourages free form spontaneity piecing and quilting. It's about letting your creativity flow and seeing where your stitches take you. And it's just so fun to see what in the world you can make with a happy heart and zero rules. Trend number nine is modern quilted wearables. This one has been like coming up the ranks for several years now, okay? It's not like a surprise to anybody that it's on this list, I'm sure. But modern quilted wearables are absolutely so, so hot right now. Your quilting is not just limited to quilts. So in 2024, we're gonna continue to see this surge in modern quilted wearables. You're gonna see quilted jackets, vests, quilted accessories such as bags and scarves. These pieces are going to combine warmth and comfort and softness with versatility and aesthetic appeal of fashion. Designers and makers are experimenting with bold patterns, intricate stitching, and unconventional materials to create wearable art that not only keeps wearers cozy, but also makes a fashion statement. Also, this trend of transforming quilts into clothing reflects a growing appreciation for the handmade. It's a desire to infuse everyday wardrobe staples with personality and individuality. It's not a full-on fight against the big man, right, in, in the fashion industry. I find this to be a really, like, amazing full circle moment for the antique quilts who were created using worn out clothing scraps, you know, cut up dresses, jeans that are torn and cannot be repaired for the 10th time, right? Or the clothes that are too small. We cut them up to make warm quilts. And then these quilts, these antique quilts and these newer quilts that we have are getting repurposed back into gorgeous clothing items again. And it's amazing. Okay, and last but not least in this trend list, the top 10 things that you're going to want to look out for in the modern quilting world is this number 10. High contrast quilting is a trend to look out for. Quilters are playing with bold color choices and sharp contrast to make their designs pop. Whether through the selection of fabrics or thread color choices, high contrast quilting designs play with light and dark or colors and textures to create dynamic compositions that command attention. Quilters are experimenting with juxtapositioning vibrant hues against neutral backgrounds, incorporating geometric patterns, or opting for dramatic color blocking to achieve maximum contrast and visual drama. So you may choose a heavier thread rather than a thinner thread that is just going to disappear into the fabric. That adds a very high contrast level of interest to your quilt, right? This trend reflects a desire within the community to continually push the boundaries of the art world, challenge traditional notions of balance and harmony, and create quilts that make a bold statement. This is a surefire way to create quilts that demand attention. So this last one has references to all of the trends that I have listed before this. They all combine into this. They want to be noticed, okay? They that line of it is a surefire way to create quilts that demand attention. I think that's really what we're seeing in the modern quilting world is, you know, quilts that are full 360 art pieces, not just comfy, close, cozy couch blankets. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I really want them to be something that is interesting. So for more tips, tricks, and tutorials for all things modern quilting, please come back anytime. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love, love, love to see you again. All right, so there you have it. The top 10 trends for 2024. Things to be looking out for, things to think about, things that you're going to want to um, keep an eye out for because you will see these things show up. I've been kind of uh, predicting this for a while and I really, really enjoy the design predictions and seeing them play out in the rest of the year, watching for them, 
sometimes fabric takes a couple years to really like catch up because the designers get involved in the trends of this year and sometimes you'll see those things pop up a few years later on same thing with like clothing and other things it's just the way the design world works kind of like we talked about earlier in the video but it is so fascinating to me and i love not necessarily being on trend in the way that we think of things now as such as like, you know, social media trendy, like it's here today, gone tomorrow, but things that just keep us current with the rest of the world, figuring out what works for everybody. What is a commonality between all of us? What colors are going to influence our likes and our dislikes, what's going to influence everything from like the furniture world to, you know, um, home decor to quilts to clothing to paint colors on walls and everything like the, the, the artist and designer side of me absolutely goes like bonkers over that. I love that. But anyways, it's been so fun to talk with you. I am, I've been quilting a lot today and sewing a lot today. I'm fixing to go take a break and enjoy the rest of my afternoon. Yeah, I, I would love to hear your comments and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have a wonderful day. Sew something beautiful and take care of yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.